Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today we're doing our second episode of Let's Play, and uh, um, before the sun is comes up on the rise, hang on one second, I forgot I had my mods in, mods installed. Um, but before the sun rises up, I wanted to correct a few things from the past. I told you ye yesterday that that makes a um, crafting table end, so I never told anybody that I think I did in this square. I never showed him by this crafting square. But anyway, you can make torches in here. Like. You know what? Uh. Just make this whole thing. See? Anything that requires only two blocks of space. I mean, four blocks of space. No. Oh, nice. Killing the crops, are we? Yeah. Also, um, Pyme and Nate seem to be very concerned with the fact that I continued to use my Master Chief skin, so I edited my own. I have, like, pajamas now. It's pretty weird, but, you know. What you gonna do? Anyway, put this back on. Hardly even tell with the armor on. But, um... I did use the iron that I found to make a um to make an iron sword, the two pieces of iron. So today what I want to do is I want to speed up the process of me looking for stuff and just use the x-ray mod to see stuff. So I mean it's not technically cheating but this is for the length of the videos. I know people are going to be really mad but I'm only going to use it a couple times. So basically what it is, is you press X, and you can see through certain objects. Let's see, I can see iron down there. That's all I want, that iron right over there. Weird, I don't recall being able to see through cobblestone. Oh, it's moss stone that you can't see through. It's fun to just look, walk around like this. So anyway, well, I guess we're going to wait for it to be day. Now, you don't have to be concerned with any monsters. Sorry, I jerked my headset off. Um, you don't have to be concerned with any monsters during the day except for creepers. And creepers are this little kamikaze mob. Two blocks high, one block wide. Uh, they're green camouflaged, which is kind of weird. And when they get close to you, you'll hear a sizzle. And you got about 1.5 seconds to get the heck out of there, or that creeper's going to blow up. And that can hurt you, obviously. It can destroy parts of your house, which kind of sucks. So, hang on, you know what? Maybe I can pull it up on the wiki page. Give me one second. So anyway, here it is um, on the Minecraft wiki page. Um, This is a creeper, as you can see. And they have 10 hearts of health, same as you. And I guess they can take 48 hearts of health at maximum. And their normal damage is 24 hearts. And this is their motto. That's a nice something, everything, house, etc. You got there. It'd be a shame if anything were had happened to it. Kind of funny. Um... I guess. Sounds, fuse, hurt, death. I can't play those because you wouldn't be able to hear them because I have my headphones in. Uh, Notch said they would feel crunchy like dry leaves. But anyway, um, they can't. They don't catch fire in direct sunlight. Uh, they. They're unlike spiders, they're not passive during the day. They are hostile at all points in time. Hang on one second. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm back. Let's get our clock back up here. So, anyway. Look out for those little guys. Let's see here, do it now. It's been a while since I've played this map. I had a few problems with the login. I was spelling duo wrong. Of course. Classic fail. And hang on one second. I'm going to just pause this and wait for daytime because I can't do anything else. 
Until then. Okay, guys. It is officially sunrise, dawn, twilight, whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to carefully exit. Now, spiders, you don't need to attack them. They won't attack you if you don't attack them. They're passive during the day. Now, at night, they will come and try to kill you. So, look out. Uh, there's, I think there's one right up there on top of that building. Now, I knew, I know there's iron. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, and collect some, uh, collect some of this anyway, the sand. Because we're going to use that to make windows and glass panes. Like, um, window, like, glass and glass panes. So this will be enough for, hmm, uh, I'm thinking a pick, which would leave us with, what, six iron left? We can complete our set of armor with a, um, with a helmet, and, um, sorry about that, I got tongue-tied there, and... Uh, then we'll have one left we can make a flint and st yeah we'll have one left we'll make a flint and steel which is Pyman's Nate most official favorite thing in the world because it sets fire to things obviously what else would a flint and steel do but um so while that's smoldering I'm gonna eat some bread and while it's doing that we need some more so we should be out by now Ow, my jaw really hurts for some reason. And out here, this is wheat. This is what we use to make bread. So, as you see, if I hit one, that's fully adult. It drops seeds and wheat. So, go ahead and collect any that look like that. Take your seeds. If you hold shift, by the way, you, um, if I just walk around here, I could ruin these crops. I can kill them. Whatever. So, what we do is we hold shift, and that won't happen. Is the is it thunderstorming outside? Hang on one second. Holy crap, yeah it is. That's epic. Alright, so anyway. Right click with seeds, place them down. You have to have tilled dirt, which we'll talk about later. Um if you don't have seeds, this tall grass right here, if you break it, sometimes it contains seeds, like that one. Just dropped a seed. So that one. And we'll also need a hoe to um, till the earth and make farmland, which is what this is on right now. And sometimes it might fall into the water. Who knows? So you need three pieces of wheat to make one loaf of bread. So let's get back in here. Still smoldering. And what we do is we take our wheat and that makes bread. Four loaves of bread right there. So five loaves of bread, that should hold us off for a while. So, first off, let's make this pick. This iron pick. Now, um, I did speed through this process a little bit. Basically, that's the handle of the pick. You gotta draw things out in this crafting table. Now, you can use any type of material on this. You can use iron. Cobblestone will make a stone pick, which is what I have down here. You can use gold, which I think I showed, and diamond, which is the best pick. Um, gold is the fastest, which I think I went over. And, alright, so, to make a helmet, do that. See how it's sort of drawn out like a helmet? So we'll take that, and now we're going to need some flint for flint and steel. Now, hang on a second. If you look at this road, it's made out of gravel. Now, gravel, you use a shovel to mine, and on occasion it'll drop flint like it just did, so I just messed up the road, which I'm not happy about. I didn't want it to do that. But anyway, I guess it's okay. 
what we do to make flint and steel, you just need one piece of flint. Hit flint right here. Steel right here. You can make this in your crafting space in your inventory as well. See? Watch this. Or it's the other way around. Flint and steel. So, basically what you do is you take a flint and steel, set something on fire. But, um, and one thing also as well, um, we'll use this to travel to the nether, and also don't set your house on fire, as it will spread very quickly, and pretty much cause the house to burn down. I've made that mistake myself. You can... Um, left click with it, I mean right, no, left click it with it, does nothing, but try to mine that specific item. <clears throat> now, let's, um, talk about, um, iron picks. Iron picks can mine any type of ore. Gold ore, iron ore, coal, lapis lazuli, which we'll talk about later. Um, what else is there? A diamond. The only thing that requires a diamond pick is obsidian. Pretty sure of it. Um. Oh well, I'll take the falling damage. See, there's gravel down here by where their coal was, so if you need flint, I'd recommend coming get it from here and not messing up your roads. See, there's a piece. We'll also use flint when we make a bow and arrow. And we'll also need string as well, which we'll get from spiders when we kill them. So if you got string from spiders, hold on to it. <clears throat> so anyway, maybe that spider's still there. Maybe I can kill it. Maybe, um, what, what the, oh. How are we doing for time? Yikes. Um, 12 minutes. I can't do combat in this um, particular episode. Maybe I can do that next episode. Anyway, besides, let's see if we can find our little friend. You up here? Nah. He was. Anyway, there'll be plenty more to come. Alright. Oh, by the way, guys, a like and subscribe would be really great. Um, I haven't gotten much of that yet. Um, I was pretty surprised to see that I had, um outside YouTube referrals which basically means um oh dang it dang it dang it uh all right so anyway you see these sheep here maybe uh, kill three of these sheep and get three wool we're gonna do this really quick so anyway we got three wool that's all we'll need we're gonna make a bed so we can reset our spawn point So, and if you double tap Y, you'll sprint. So you'll need three wooden planks for this, which I have. So you take your wool, like that, planks like that. That makes a bed. Now, when you place a bed, you got to make sure you're, you're going to be able to stand on it. You can stand on it without anything obstructing it. Otherwise, when you sleep in your bed, it'll say your bed is up when you die it won't reset your spawn point it says your bed will be obstructed is destroyed or obstructed and it'll respawn you at your normal spawn point which after all is like right over there but anyway uh you can only sleep at night and you can't sleep if there's monsters within 10 blocks of the bed so anyway um next time it's night we are going to reset our spawn and so we'll be all good Alright, I think that does it for this episode. Bye-bye. Uh, By the way, like, subscribe. You know, watch our other videos. It'd be appreciated. Bye-bye.